College football in America is a special game, a unique game played nowhere else in the world. It is even more special when talking about the Southeastern Conference. Established during a record-setting cold wave on December 8th and 9th, the year 1932, better known as the SEC. The men who play it, the coaches who coach it, and the fans who love it make it so. On a blistering perfect day, positioned nicely along the Alabama Gulf Coast in a little beach town called Gulf Shores, an attack of the SEC occurred. Celebrated for the first time in the year of 2012, a three-day carnival of music, food, and football took place. And this is very well organized, I might add, down here at the beach, and it's a lot of fun to see all the fans. Well, I think that, that Coach Saban and his staff have just done a remarkable job. Well, it's definitely, uh, you know, obviously entertaining to be a part of it, and obviously it's great for the fans. Coaches because will talk to coaches. They get their blood. Fans will be fans. Coaches will talk to fans, and fans will talk to coaches. But Coach Bryant called Coach Ball and said, John, we got a chance to make history here. How's that, Paul? Hey, you run a standard defense and I'll run it. We won't have any blitzing, and we're going to be on television, and we'll bring, we'll bring this conference to a, to a level that's never been before. We'll put on a show that people have never seen before. The children, like their forefathers before them, will be guided by greatness, by demonstrations of technique that can only be learned, never inherited. A swirl of constant bodies and festive times will continue to engage the Gulf Coast from now and beyond. Prepare your playbook for next year and come gather and swarm Gulf Shores for three days of all things holy. The SEC Beach Fest.